So now that we've looked at what you can do with videos, let's take a look at your actual channel. So uh, the first thing you want to do is make sure that you have verified your YouTube channel. You just go to youtube.com slash verify and all you're, all it's going to do is connect your YouTube channel to a phone number so you prove you're a real person. Once you've done that, you have access to all these new features. And I can see it under status and features here. So I can see that I've got all these green little kind of button looking things and they show me that all these features are available to me because I am in good standing. Um, if you don't have some of these available, they are going to be gray or if there's something you have to do, they will be red. Like if you have a copyright claim, you have to take care of. So if you ever see any of these red, um, go take care of it right away. So I can see right here, a social blade. We're in good standing with community guidelines as well as copyright. So the next option under status and features is monetization. I'm not going to be able to show you in this series how to set it up. Uh, it's pretty self-explanatory, but that's if you want to put ads on your videos to make money. So we're going to take a look instead at upload defaults. What this does is it sets what the default is or what's regularly going to happen with videos when you upload them. You can see I can set a default privacy setting like what we talked about in our first video. So uh, it's good to set your default as unlisted or private. That way, if you ever forget to set a privacy setting, you're not accidentally uploading a video that is not ready to go out. You can also see that I can choose a category. And so a lot of people, this is confusing because you'll find that you find uh, you often fall into more than one category. Like, are you a gamer or are you an entertainer? Really, you're kind of both. If you do animations, are you under animation? Or are you gonna be under how to if you do tutorials? So just pick the one that you think fits the most with you um, and go ahead and select that category. It does help you in search rankings. Now here we get to the license part. We get lots of questions about this. So there are two options. You have your standard YouTube license, which basically means that you are claiming your own content. You don't want other people to use your content. The second option is a Creative Commons attribution. And what that means is you are okay with people using your videos, uh, like to use parts of your videos and their videos as long as they give you attribution, as long as they tell people it, the original source was yours in their description. And then here are some things that are starting to look a little more familiar. We've got title, description, and tags. So I'm gonna set these defaults. So you can see we don't set a default title because we have so many different titles, but we do set stuff in our default description. And this is the stuff that you'll see at the bottom of the description on every one of our videos. So this is where we put our links to our social media, uh, to our website, things like that. Um, so you set it up here, you don't have to set it up on every video. Of course, here we can see if we want to be allowing comments. Uh, this is where you would set where you want to allow all your comments or only approved comments. Approved comments means that you have to go through and approve them before they appear on videos. And whether you're allowing people to see the ratings for your videos. This is also where you select uh, whether you're going to be monetizing your videos regularly. You can turn this off for individual videos as well. And then you select which types of ads you want on your videos. For instance, if you don't want the non-skippable pre-rolls, this is where you would take them off. And again, this sets the uh, default for all your videos going up where we can set defaults for the language. You can usually ignore the caption certification for pretty much all of you. It's gonna be this content has never aired on TV. <laughs> and then you can show uh, edit suggestions. Those are YouTube suggestions that they'll give you in their video editor. You can put the location of the video and you can making the statistics on the watch page publicly visible. So once you're done, make sure you click save and you can also set up different profiles here. So if you wanna set up multiple profiles for different types of videos, you can do that as well if you have different series that you run. So those upload defaults really can save you a lot of time.